Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub. And last few years, there's been a huge push on improving page speed on websites. And especially Google a couple years ago released Core Web Vitals. And since then, everyone's been pushing to get their pages to load faster and faster, provide the best user experience they can. One metric though, in optimizing a page that I think often gets overlooked and kind of impacts everything else that comes after it is time to first byte. Time to first byte is how long it takes the server to respond to an initial request back to the browser and nothing else loads until that first request is responded to. So time to first byte can have a huge impact on page speed. And if you have a bad time to first byte, it doesn't matter what else you do, you're not gonna have a great user experience for your, your visitors. So let's dive in and talk about time to first byte. Okay, before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure you head over to the seopub.com. Sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week right to your inbox. So let's dive into time to first byte. And before we get into anything, let's talk about what exactly is time to first byte. So time to first byte is a metric that measures the time between the request for a resource from your browser to the first byte of response uh, when it begins to arrive back from the server. And it's a sum of basically all of these things happening. So any redirects that are in place, uh, if the, the, the server needs any kind of startup time, um, the DNS lookup, connection, TLS handshake, and all of that information getting processed and the first byte responding back to the browser. And Google recommends that a good time to first byte score is 800 milliseconds or less. Anything between 800 and 1800, you should be looking at improving. Anything above 1800 and you have problems. Now, how do you measure time to first byte? How do you find out what your website's time to first byte is? Well, if you go into Chrome and go to the developer tools and pull up whatever web page you want to check and you want to go to network. If you don't see network up here, hit this little, the arrows, and then the drop down menu, select network, and then just refresh the page that you're on. And the page will load. And what you're looking for is the, the HTML document that was, was sent, which it's almost always the first thing here. Um, and it has this little blue icon, says document. This is what you wanna look at. What you can do is hover over let me widen this a second. Go to where the waterfall is, and if you hover over that, you'll see this little pop-up window, and right here it says waiting for server response. This is how long it took for the time the first byte arrived. So in this case, it was about 446 milliseconds, well under Google's recommended 800. Now, if you have pages over 800, this is something that I see a lot when I'm optimizing websites, helping clients to optimize their websites uh, when I start on a new project is they have everything else in place. Like the JavaScript loads really well, there's um, images are optimized really well, but their time the first byte is slow, which affects everything else because nothing else loads until this happens. So it's important that if you have a slower time, this is the first place you wanna go to start optimizing your site. A Couple things that you can do if you're finding that you have a, a slower um, time the first byte. Number one thing is contact your web host. Um, it's, I would say probably like 90% of the time, it's a hosting issue. Uh, especially if you're on a shared web host, you're probably never gonna see a really good time the first byte. Um, shared servers are just gonna be slower, especially if you're on a shared server that has a popular website on it. They're gonna hog up resources, which is going to make every other site on that server slower. You can also try using a content delivery network or CDN that can often help speed up your time to first byte. You can check all your redirects, make sure that you have you know, the, the minimum number of redirects that you need in place. Don't have a long redirect chain, make sure things are getting redirected directly to where they need to go. And on some websites that are database intensive, like, like WordPress sites, sometimes cleaning up the database can help a lot and it allows the server to process requests faster, and you'll see a drop in the time to first byte if you can get your database cleaned up. Again, most of the time though, it's it's a hosting issue. It's just a, a poor server or 
you're on a shared host um, or just the hosting service isn't very good. And no matter what you do, you're never going to get this time below 800. So that's the first place to start. Again, if you want to check the time to first byte on your site, just go in the Chrome developer tools, refresh the page under network and pull it up right here and see where you're at. All right, that's it for this one. Again, if you haven't yet, make sure you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.